Hello, and welcome to the online edition of Night Watch for October 2024. My name is Bill, coming to you from the Pseudicum Planetarium here at Adventure Science Center in Nashville. And as always, we'll start off with the moon phases this month. The moon will be new on October 2nd, so it will be invisible. First quarter moon will be on the 10th, full moon on the 17th, followed by last quarter moon on the 24th. Looking at planets this month, in the evening sky, Venus is low in the west-southwestern sky in evening twilight after sundown. Venus appears as a bright white star-like object, and it is the brightest object in that area of the sky in evening twilight. See the beautiful thin crescent moon just a few days past its new phase, passing to the lower left of Venus on October 5th. Saturn is in the southern sky this month and appears as a yellowish or cream-colored star-like object fairly high in the southern sky. The gibbous moon will be passing to the left of the planet Saturn on October 14th. Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, rises around 10 p.m. during mid-month and is in the constellation Taurus the Bull. It appears as the brightest white star-like object in the eastern sky in the constellation Taurus, and the moon will be passing above the planet Jupiter on October 20th. In our morning sky, the planet Mars rises at around local time midnight in the constellation Gemini, the twins. The moon will be passing by the planet Mars on October 23rd and 24th. Going back to our evening sky, we do have a special guest in our evening sky during mid-October. Comet Chu Chi Xuan Atlas, or C2023A3, is going to be in our evening sky, and this could be one of the best comets we've seen in a very long time. In fact, the comet may become so bright that it will rival the brightness of the planet Venus. Look low in the western sky to the right of the planet Venus starting around October 12th. The comet should be uh, bright enough to be easily seen with your unaided eye and look even better through a pair of binoculars or a telescope. You can start looking for the comet a few days before and it will be lower in the sky. But as it gets higher in the sky it should become easier to see in a dark sky but it will also be getting dimmer over the few days past October 12th. The comet will remain visible in our evening sky and get higher through around the 24th of October, but again, it will be getting dimmer as it moves farther away from the Earth. Again, again this is comet Chu Xin Xuan Atlas, which was discovered last year and will become a fairly bright comet in our evening sky during the middle part of October. Now looking elsewhere in the sky, at around 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time, we find the Summer Triangle high in the western sky, marked by the three bright stars Vega, Deneb, and Altair, which are the brightest stars in the constellations known as Lyra the Harp, Cygnus the Swan, and Aquila the Eagle. High overhead, we find four stars that form a square shape, some people even like to call it the Great Square, or the Autumn Square in the sky, or even if you prefer, a baseball diamond in the sky. But this square shape is part of the famous Pegasus in Greek mythology, the magical flying horse. Now if you can't remember everything I've mentioned in this online edition of Nightwatch, don't forget you can go online and find a copy of our online star chart at adventuresci.org slash starcharts. And don't forget to visit us here at the Pseudicum Planetarium at Adventure Science Center. During the month of October, we'll be presenting our regular planetarium edition of Night Watch, along with our planetarium shows, Stars, Powerhouses of the Universe, narrated by Mark Hamill, who of course played Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. We're also presenting Mars, the ultimate voyage, as we look at a future mission to the Red Planet and the challenges involved with long-duration spaceflight. Also, for the 19th and 20th and the 26th and 27th, we will be presenting Fright Light, our Halloween laser show. See our website, adventuresci.org, for more information, tickets, and showtimes. And don't forget, 
Come and join us here at Adventure Science Center, where our mission is to open every mind to the wonders of science and technology, fostering a better understanding of ourselves and the world around us. We hope you can join us here at the Pseudicum Planetarium at Adventure Science Center. And until next month, my name is Bill, coming to you from the Pseudicum Planetarium, and I wish you clear skies. <laughs>